Hi, I'm David Spears. Welcome to Insiders. It's the final episode for 2020. What a year it's been. And we're here for the Christmas edition. This week we're talking about China, China, China. I just don't know this year if the biggest threat facing Australia has been China to our north or coronavirus on our northern beaches. This week, we're joined on the panel by the lovely Laura Tingle in the studio, and also joining us, Nikki Sava and Catherine Murphy. And so, Laura, I'll start with you. We've been talking about China a lot this year, and ex-Prime Minister Kevin Rudd, he's been weighing in a lot. Uh, he's got some expertise when it comes to our relationship with China. What do you think? Has he been doing a good job, or has he been doing a bad job? Well, David, it's not quite that simple. You seem to have done that thing where you oversimplify the narrative and create an either-or for yourself. Maybe you'd like to reframe the question and give it a little bit more substance, something that I can sink my teeth into. Oh, I'm s yes, I'm sorry, Laura. I mean, Miss Tingle. What I meant to ask you was, who should be leading Australia's diplomatic relationship with China? Should it be ex-Prime Minister Kevin Rudd, who has some expertise in dealing with the Chinese culture, or should it be our current Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, because he's got a marketing background? Well, David, I suppose I can answer that question. The question is really, what is Australia doing about its relationship with China? And as you know, the leader of Australia, Prime Minister Scott Morrison, has a little bit of a heavy-handed approach sometimes. If you cast your mind back to last summer, there was a terrible bushfire season in Australia. And he forced a few handshakes, as it were, and took a pretty heavy-handed approach. That's quite telling, in my view. And that heavy-handed approach seems to have spilt over into our relations with China at the diplomatic level. And things have gone pretty south since then, so, 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 the question really has nothing to do with Kevin Rudd and his squibbling on the sides. The question really is, does Scott Morrison, our marketing Prime Minister, have a plan beyond the sort of virtue signalling and heavy handedness that he seems to be so au fait with? Yes, yes, I understand. That was very strong analysis. Very smart. You're, you're just, you're so smart. Okay, now, I guess we're going to throw to Nikki Sabah. Nikki, I'd like to hear your thoughts on China. <coughs> Great point, Catherine Murphy. You used way less words answering that question than you usually do. And look, we've come to the final thoughts for this episode. Laura, I always love to get your final thoughts because you're just so sexy. I mean, you're so smart. Could you let me know what your final thoughts are? Well, David, looks aside, I'd like to reflect on 2020 and, and look forward to 2021. 2020 has been a year of unrivaled change. There's been a global pandemic. There's been a changing of the US president in very unceremonious circumstances. And there's been a new insiders host. And look, there's been a, a lot of consternation about all of these things. So I would just posit that people have changed fatigue. The world is feeling a little bit, a little bit worn down. Um, 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 and in these, these sort of trying times, I look, I look personally, I look to the big thinkers. I look to, to Karl Marx, to Noam Chomsky, to Barry Cassidy you know, to the, to the big players. And I take solace in the idea that change is inevitable. And look, I mean, it's Barry Cassidy's tradition to have a drink on the last Insiders show for the year from the Christmas special, as it were, and I probably, I probably shouldn't, but, you know, I'll be performing in the Carols by Candlelight performance next week with the choir from the National Press Club. National Press Club. And we'll be singing Ave Maria. And I'd like to give you a little taste of it right now. 
<clears throat> Ave Maria. And what about me? What about Speezy's final thoughts? Just before we go, I'd like to mention a new podcast. Patricia Carvelis, regular on the Insiders panel, favourite of the Insiders panel. She's got a new podcast out and it's called Words for the Wise. Comes out every week and next week she's doing a special Christmas edition. It's called A Very PK Christmas and I'm so excited. If you'd like a little bit more political analysis while Insiders is offline over the summer, make sure you subscribe to PK's podcast, listen in every week, you won't regret it.